Welcome back, Minty. Scenario Condition. I'm your co-host, Astonishing Melanie, today. I'm co-host to... Miss Lydia. Who's going to be doing a spoiler-free review, so please stay tuned. And welcome back. So, Miss Lydia, you've read The Unstoppable Wasp, Aim Escape, from the Marvel graphic novel series. Kind of aimed towards kids, but anybody can read it, right? It is cheaper because it's smaller. Here's a size comparison with the trade paperback. This was written by Jeremy Whitley, and the artists are Gerda Hiru and Outlease Fermencia. Okay. So, how does this book start off? The story is about Nadia Van Dyne, who her father is... Hank Pym, but he was merged with Ultron in one of the other storylines okay. before the book. Basically, the original Wasp, Janet Van Dyne, adopted Nadia. Oh, okay. Cool. Now, I know this has something to do with GIRL, like the acronym GIRL, because of the previous uh, volume in the series. What what does that stand for? GIRL stands for Genius in Action Research Labs. Doesn't that spell GIRL? Now's not the time to question it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so um, there's Nadia with these research labs. Who else? There, She has some friends here, like Ying, Shay, Priya, like basically this entire group of friends. Oh, okay. But she's been friends with Ying for longer because they're both from the Red Room. Ooh, so maybe ties to Black Widow, perhaps. Yeah, probably. Alright, so what's the conflict? What's the problem they have to overcome? Basically, the main villain of this story is AIM, Advanced Ideas Mechanics. Okay. They're like the anti-shield. Normal, well, they're not normal people. Like, some of them do have superpowers, but, like, obviously there's always those minions that don't have superpowers and Ooh, just use maybe. weapons. Yeah, okay. Um, so keep in mind, spoiler free, what are the actions that she has to take? In the first issue, obviously, we're getting introduced to all these characters. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, like, Meeting Na Nadia, all her friends, Janet, all these different people. Okay. But she does find one of the AIM members named Amber, who also has, like, the superhero name of the Seeker. Okay. Oh. So she's she is a, she's a superhero? Well, super villain, but of course, like any villain, she thinks what she's fighting for is correct. Oh, good point. Nice. Okay, um, what about, let's just talk a little bit about the second issue then. Okay, yeah, basically in this issue, Nadia and Jana are trying, you know, just have a nice dinner together, but something always has to go wrong, and, you know, they have to go be wasps and fight villains. Oh, but they get to do it together. Yeah. Oh, that sounds but neat. I'd fight super villains with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's talk about the other characters. I think I really like Tanya. Like, basically, she, like, sort of, like, builds robots and stuff like that. There's Priya, who's, like, a Buddhist. Oh, cool. And, like, a... I think she's pretty cool, too. There's Jing. She was the one that I was talking about who was in the Red Room earlier. Mm hmm And, like, she's an assassin. And I think what's really cute is that, like, Shay, another girl has, like, a crush on her, so I thought that was cute. So, like, you know, it's good to have some representation, not just, like, oh, look, a boy and a girl. How cute. That's really cool, baby. What about Nadia herself? I really like Nadia, too. Like, she seems relatable, obviously. Like, I think one thing I really like, well, not, like, in a sense of, like, yes, I'm glad that happened to her, but, like, she has bipolar disorder, which I thought was very interesting. Since, like, her father does sort of have bipolar disorder, too. So that's where she got it from. But, like, you know, obviously a lot of, like, kids' media in general is sort of afraid to touch that, like, subject. Since, you know, it's obviously very touchy. And it's not like, hey, kid, look, let's look at bipolar disorder and you're gonna learn all about it. Because it could be confusing to a lot of kids. Especially well, young ones. I think there is a trend of making characters more realistic and, um lifting the stigma of mental illnesses so that people can see that. I mean, because millions of people are affected by it. This is how things are. And you can find encouragement from Nadia. Yeah. Does she, does she um, grow in development in terms of, um, like, learning ways to handle it? Yes, definitely. Like, she, especially, like, she goes to therapy, which I thought was really good. 
not just be like, obviously like, oh, it's all okay, everything's fine. Like she actually takes charge and trying to make herself better. So it's filled with action, right? There's yes. still a lot of fights. But that part really interests me. That's cool. Yeah, I really like that. Oh, what did you think about the dialogue? That's really important to me. Yeah, I thought it was very realistic. You know, it's not, like, for example, when Prez trying to help Nadia, like, after she had, like, her freak out with her bipolar disorder. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's obviously very realistic. It's not just like, oh, you're going to be okay. Yeah, I am okay now. Let's go have fun and ice cream. You know, it's obviously... <laughs> ice cream does realistic. help, though. Yes, it does. <laughs> but, you know, it's but like... it's realistic, okay. Yeah, it's very realistic in, like, trying to comfort somebody. It's like, obviously, I'll make you feel better, but it's not going to be, like, perfect instantly. Gotcha. Now that we've talked about the story and characters, let's take a look at the art. I like this logo here with the wasp wings coming out. Me too. So, basically, this volume 2 collects issues 1 through 10 of the Unstoppable Wasp. What about these colors, Lydia? I think that they're very bright. Like, there's not really any scenes where it has, like, dark or muted colors. Like, okay. a lot of it is, like, bright. So, kind of uh, what comicbook.com said, that it's it's an unapologetically happy book. We've got a lot of bright colors. What about these panel arrangements? They definitely do overlay sometimes. I think it's more like, just like, it's easy to follow, though. You know, it's not like anything like crazy. So it's a straightforward story. Therefore, the paneling perhaps is why it's straightforward. Um, oh, look, is this where she's answering science questions? Yeah, like she's, well, she's... she's just like thinking and stuff. So I like how clean the artwork is. Like, it's obviously not too detailed, but not in a bad way. I really like the like simplicity of it. Like, obviously, it's not just like eye, eye, mouth, but... Um, it's just like, it looks <laughs> that's really how nice. I draw. That's the, yeah, that's definitely my drawings. I, I mouth. So cartoony. Yeah. Cartoony. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Don't you wish you had a cool of, as mom as her? You're much cooler than her. Oh, thanks. I was fishing for a compliment. <laughs> Something I'm just now noticed with this panel with the dialogue, Amos attacking the lab. If there were a camera right here, it's kind of an upward angle, maybe a little skewed. All the, you know, they were just having fun, and it's a shock. Therefore, the panel is slightly off as well. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, Does that sound, I agree. Does that sound analytical enough? Yes. So we were flipping through a couple of uh, covers. Here's a variant. That's really dramatic. I like that. Yeah, me too. That's and who is that, Lydia? It's Janet Van Dyne, the original Wasp. Good job. And then... Uh, pra this looks like it has something to do with um, her breakdown, you said? Yeah. That's just my guess. Definitely. Here are a couple of variants in the back. Now that you've showed yeah. me the artwork, I want to point out this quote on the back of this book <clears throat> from comicbook.com. It's an unapologetically happy comic that revels in its bounciness. Do you agree or disagree? I definitely agree with that. Why? Because, like, just the entire thing, like, you know, it's obviously not, like, deep, dark, gory. Because, you know, this is for kids. So they obviously can't go, like, really, really dark with it. Yeah, but, like, it's definitely, like, mostly happy throughout it. And I appreciate stories like that, especially if you need to balance out um, from reading something dark. Regale me with some funny moments, like a couple of times that were cute or made you laugh. Well, like, I definitely like Shay, like, crushing over Ying, because I thought, like, it's, I think it's really cute, <laughs> to be honest. Like, there's no specific moments, it's just sort of, like, all their interactions. Um, I also like Ying, like, boxing while, like, answering, like, science questions and stuff like that. Cause I Exercise think... does help you memorize and learn. Yeah, it's kind of like when I'm on my swing, like, it helps me, like, focus a lot more. So, like, for her, it might be boxing or being active. Mm-hmm. Miss Lydia, what's your score? I give this book an 8 out of 10. I really liked it, especially, like, you know, representation is good. But I also just like the story in general. Like, you know, it was a pretty cute story. Yeah, that I 
think I will read it this weekend. So thanks, sweetie. You're welcome. Kiss time again. Mwah. Thank you so much for this review to help people out finding some great stories. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. We put out videos every day. We've got merchandise on Redbubble and also on Patreon. We revised it to include a new tier. Uh, so please check that out and thank you for supporting us. Anything else? Stay minty, everybody. That's mine! I'm going to steal your job from now on. <laughs> <laughs>